Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to string a self bow today uh, using either the step through method or push pull. Uh, I usually don't recommend using a commercial type stringer uh, simply because some people have a habit of over stressing one limb or the other. Um, if you know what you're doing with one, I mean they're a great tool to have. Um, but if you're like me, you like to do everything as primitive as possible and uh, carrying a stringer along with you just doesn't really uh, fit that bill for me. So uh, this bow's 57 pounds at 27 inches. Um, so it'll show you that you can string a bow of, of pretty decent weight using either one of these methods with a little bit of practice. So I'll go ahead and explain a little, a little bit of this. Uh, this will be the push-pull method. And by push-pull what you're doing is you're pushing the bow, the limb of the bow down pulling up on the handle at the same time and you'll be pushing the string up to loop it over. You can see the string's relaxed. Um, you always want to make sure your string is in the bottom knocks really well and place the bottom tip in the sole of your shoe and then I lean forward put my palm on top of the top limb and I hold on to the grip. And take your two fingers, your index finger and your thumb, and kind of guide the string. And as you pull back on the handle, you push down on the limb until you walk the string all the way up and into the roots. And then to do it, you do the same thing. You make sure you never take your hand off of this limb where it's going to come back and wrap you in the face. So when you want to unstring it, you pull up on the grip and just unloop it with your finger and let it relax. It's pretty much that simple. Um, I will note that it's not a very good idea to do this method with a recurve. Uh, if it does slip out of your hand, that recurve can come right back and hit you right in the eye. Uh, my dad used to shoot a lot of bare recurves and I used to string his that way a lot of times and I let one go one time and it hit me right in the temple. I could have just about lost my eye if it had hit me. So. Uh, be very careful if you do string like this with a recurve, but I just I recommend that you don't. Uh, next we're going to do the step through method. There's a couple different ways I've seen people do them where they do them this way across their body and they pull the bow back to them. Um, me being right handed, I'm going to put the tip of the bow, the upper tip in my left hand. And again, make sure your strings in the bottom knock well. And then actually put your leg between the string and the bow. And again, this is the back of the bow, is down here. This is the belly of the bow. And this hand I put, my left hand I put up on the upper limb. The grip is behind my knee. And I actually like to lock this knee if I can. And then when I, I lean over, you can see how it bends both limbs evenly and then this string is relaxed and I can bend it all the way up and then what I do is I can actually hang on to it once it's bent. The string isn't attached so I'll even drop it so you can see it. But it doesn't take hardly anything to hold it once it's there. But then you can switch hands. So I'll do that again here for you in one motion so you can see. So I go up and I hold it, switch, right over. You don't want to over bend it and have a real loose string because you don't want to overstress your limbs any more than necessary. So you just bend it just enough and I can string a bow 80 to 90 pounds using this method. Um, if possible, like one like this, it's not that heavy, you can actually start down here and just go right up with it. It's easy. So I recommend that you practice this method. Just make sure your tip is either in the grass or sand on the carpet. You don't want to do it. Um, you know, on a sidewalk or something where it's going to mess your tip up. But anything soft, it's going to be fine. So if you practice this method, you should have no problem stringing your bow in the field. So again, one more time. Bottom, make sure your string's in the grooves or in the knocks well. The grip is behind your knee, and you're using your leg as a fulcrum. And then lean your body and pull the bow up with you. And loop it right into the knocks. Then always check your knocks. And make sure everything's seated. And then when it's time done stringing again, when it's time done stringing, I don't even put my leg all the way through it. I just use my knee because it doesn't take anything. And that's it.